<laughs> hey, yeah, my name is Thomas and tonight I'd like to show you how to take a nice picture of the moon with your iPhone or smartphone for that matter. It doesn't really matter which brand. My experience shows me that uh, people, whenever I show them the moon through a telescope, they are like, wow. I didn't imagine that to be so beautiful, so great views. People are really amazed when they see the moon through a telescope the first time. Um, and then the second question they ask is like, hey, can I take a picture of it? Uh, yeah, sure, you can. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, uh, you know, we've got an eyepiece. Every, every telescope has an eyepiece, like the where you look through. Um, and then Actually, I found this contraption. They are not, not expensive, but I, I never knew that I bought one. Um, and what it does is you like fit your eyepiece here and then you fit your smartphone like here and then you sort of adjust it so that the lens of the smartphone will look peek through the eyepiece, something like that. And from then on, it should be a piece of cake, uh, assuming the scope points towards the moon and the skies are bright. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, so this is the setup I'm going to use tonight. Uh, as you see, night is already approaching. Um, this is a Celestron C5 uh, telescope. Um, it's got a 5-inch uh, aperture. That means uh, 125 millimeters of uh, aperture and the focal length of 1250 millimeters. Uh, so now all we have to do is to uh, actually wait for the moon to show up there behind uh, the opposite houses on the opposite uh, side of the street. Um, yeah, and then we are ready to take our photo. Hey, yeah, so I, I got my shot. I actually had to wait much longer than I anticipated because it's uh, the day after full moon. I didn't know that before and uh, that means the moon shows up here uh, very late in front of my window. But okay, I got it. Um, I learned certain things. Uh, first, it's, it's very tricky to <laughs> To adjust this thing so that you really get an unobstructed view of the moon in your telephone but you can do it <laughs> but uh, don't give up if the first shots look very blurry or you just see a part of the moon on your frame or something like that um, it will work out eventually um, and the second thing is I found it much more fun to take a video than a photo because you, you see this blurriness of the atmosphere um, and it, it just adds a certain yeah, atmosphere <laughs> to the shot. So I enjoyed that more, but yeah, you got to find out what you like more. Last not least, it's hard to not overexpose the moon because the phone just sees, you know, a small white ball in front of a big black uh, background. So it tends to overexpose. Um, and you really have to make sure that that doesn't happen. So you have to bring down the exposure. Um, you can do that. Um, there's always some sort of a slider or something on your screen where you can adjust exposure. Blown up highlights, you know, stuff that just looks white on the photo, you cannot repair that afterwards. So you can still adjust the photos on the computer, as uh, I show you here in the video, to give them a more nice look. Yeah, and then maybe the results can be pretty impressive. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, good night for now. <laughs>